I've got a confession to make. In Tahoma 2D, I love the WebM video format. It's great. There we go. I've said it. It's out there. I love it. And today I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Hello friends. And today I want to tell you about the WebM video format and how it's more flexible than GIF format for rendering out your animations from Tahoma 2D. And for those who don't know, Tahoma 2D is a fork of OpenTunes, so it has all the features of OpenTunes, but with a few extra features, like this ability to have a transparent background on WebM video files. And I've used them quite a bit recently for creating the overlays that I use on these videos. So I used it for my name tag at the start of today's and last week's video. And last week I used it for the arrow animations to show the location of the flip buttons on the options toolbar. I used it for the thumbs up animation and for the guarantee stamp at the end of the video. And I'll continue to use them for any other overlays, including one I'm about to show you in a second. And there's two main features of the WebM video format that you'll like. And the first one is that they can have transparent backgrounds. Unfortunately, WebM files only have transparent backgrounds when rendered from Tahoma 2D. Rendering from OpenTunes always uses the camera colour as the background colour. So if you want transparent backgrounds, you must render from Tahoma 2D. And to create a WebM video file with a transparent background, you just choose to not add a background. When rendering to a format that allows transparency, like WebM and GIF video files, or PNG images, then a background won't be added unless you ask it to, by either drawing a background yourself, or by changing the alpha in the scene settings, which applies the camera colour as the background. And then just choose WebM as the file type from the output settings. And that's it, you'll now get an animation file with a transparent background which for me means I can create these overlays to use my video editing software, Shotcut, for these pre-recorded videos, and with OBS for my live streams. And those of you that watch my live streams will have seen many overlays used there. So there's another feature of WebM files that for me makes them better than GIF files, and that's that they can include sound. So just drag and drop your audio into Tahoma, place it in the right place, and it'll be rendered with your file. And I use this for my guarantee stamp at the end of these videos, which keeps the audio in time with the animation so I don't have to add it separately while editing, and to try and keep it in sync. And I also used it for the thumbs up overlay that I show each week to keep the mouse click in sync with the button depressing animation. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know and they can share it with others. So I hope this has tempted you to try out the WebM format in Tahoma 2D. It's really useful for overlays, as well as a handy format for sharing your clips. So give it a go and let me know how you get on. And I'll see you soon for another video. And that's a guarantee. So I hope this has tempted you to try out the new So I hope this has tempted you to try out the WebM format. So I hope this so I hope this has tempted you to try out the new... It's not new. <laughs> it's not new. Uh...